Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. If we talk about the futuristic military technologies that will rule the warfare of coming decades, the DU or directed energy weapon will be one among them. This technology can even be harnessed to neutralize and defend against hypersonic, ballistic and other missiles at terminal stage. DU is nothing but the focused electromagnetic beam for example, laser or a microwave. What makes DU such a powerful weapon is their speed. DU, being focused electromagnetic wave, can transmit a lethal force at a speed of light, which is about 3 lakhs kilometers per second or Mach 8 lakhs 74,030. Unlike the conventional missiles and artilleries, DU are almost unaffected by constrained effects of gravity or atmospheric drag. They are extremely precise and accurate. The intensity and power of DU can be easily scaled up and down depending on the type of target to be engaged. They are also cheaper as there is literally no ammunition cost. However, they do consume huge amount of electricity which is a major challenge in weaponizing and miniaturizing them. The two laboratories of DRDO primarily working with DU are CHESS or Center of High Energy Systems and Science located in Hyderabad and LASTEC Laser Science and Technology Center. There are many projects in progress related to DU under DRDO. Some of them are Kilo Ampere Linear Injector or Kali, Project Aditya, Durga and Air Defense Dazzlers. Kali has a very interesting history behind it and possibly the first military use of DU in the world. Regarding Kali, we will make a detailed video sometime later. Talking about laser dazzlers, BEL has already been manufacturing them and supplying to Indian Navy. The laser dazzlers is used as non-lethal method for stopping suspicious vehicles, aircrafts and UAVs from approaching the secured areas. In February 2022, the Chinese PLA Navy has been accused of using laser beams against PH Poseidon Maritime Reconnaissance aircraft of Australia. Talking about Project Aditya, it is a 100 kW laser developed by DRDO. Unlike modern day laser which is based on solid state, Aditya is based on gas dynamic laser and it is not easily portable. It has a lot of complex plumbing too. Aditya uses 0.7 meter aperture telescope to cause damage at a range of 0.8 km and 2.5 km. The beam delivery system has to simultaneously acquire and track distance, static and moving targets in real time and points and focuses the laser beam on the target. Aditya was an experimental test bed of DRDO to seed the critical technologies for future laser weapon programs. Next, uh, which is the most recent one and could be the future of direct energy weapon is Project Durga. In the financial year 2021-22, DRDU has requested for $100 million budget to produce a high power laser weapon. The classified project is dubbed as Durga 2 or directionally unrestricted ray gun array. Durga 2 is aimed to develop a 100 kW lightweight directed energy system. Once developed, it will be integrated with various land, sea and air based platforms of military. While no official timeline has been defined or outlined, it is claimed that the Indian Army will soon receive Durga 2. The project Durga has started way back in early 2000 but gained momentum only in 2017 when DRDO tested a 1 kW truck mounted laser weapon over a range of 250 meters in Chitar Durga. Lastec has now reportedly developed a 25 kW laser weapon that can target a ballistic missile during its terminal phase at a max distance of 5 km. The DRDO's anti-drone system is also one of the examples of application of DU, which employs a laser-based hard kill measure to destroy the drones and UAV from a range of 1 to 2.5 km. The system deployed here is probably using 2 kW or 10 kW laser developed by DRDO. The DRDO's mobile directed energy system DELS laser beam is a combination tech 
which has been used for generating desired power for shooting down drones and is being modified for shooting down rockets, mortars, similar in capabilities to Israel's iron beam. It features electro-optical sensor to track the targets and dual laser beam is used to neutralize the target. Dell's IS-10 kW proof-of-concept directed energy system to be used against UAV like target and establishment of critical technologies of precision, tracking, pointing and laser beam combination. During the period of January 2018 and March 2019, tests for detection and tracking of mini drone, especially hexacopter with battlefield surveillance radar and queuing to 10 kW DELS were carried out at ATR Chitradurga. Testing of radar interfacing with 10 kW of DS was carried out with 10 kW DS radar interfacing simulator and air defense fire control radar Atulya at BL Bengaluru. Track acquisition, tracking and laser pointing of 10 kW anti-UV laser weapon AULW system was carried out on flying drones at chest site up to a range of 0.7 km. The next project, which is slightly different from the laser technology, is about the microwave system. DRDU has also taken up a project to develop high power microwave called HPM system of radio frequency whose power lies in the S band of electromagnetic spectrum. The HPM will be able to neutralize and fry the electronics of the drones from a distance of 5 km. During June 2018 trial, the indigenous Marx generator was tested for up to 300 kV 20 Hz and excellent performance was obtained. These generators are used to generate high power microwaves. The military application for the compact HPM system is extensive given the potential threat posed by missiles. This system can also be integrated with land-based mobile vehicles and larger transport aircrafts. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.